Get the look. Get the look. <laughs> well, you, you know, I've always... Hey everybody, um, this is uh, again part of our fabulous vlog, which I've been saying blog and it's actually vlog because it's a video uh, and we're going to make the internet great again. But uh, we've done a couple pieces on wild horses and uh, I'd like to share with you uh, when we were out at Music Ranch, Montana, which is near Livingston, Montana in the Paradise Valley, we did a wonderful video and documentary uh, on the wild horses. We were, it was a gift to us from uh, Frank Smith who owns the Music Ranch. He surprised me with it. He said, Lacey, you're already here. Um, if you'll go out before your show and talk to this film crew about your, what matters to you about these wild horses, we'd really appreciate it. And I was so thrilled. So we went out and here's what we got. The latest polls show us that 70 to 80 percent of us here in America believe in the preservation and protection of the wild horse. And that's why we're here at Music Ranch, Montana, in this beautiful Paradise Valley. In August of 2013, Music Ranch, Montana hosted its first Music with a Mission event. Its goal was to raise awareness and discuss possible solutions for the protection and preservation of the American wild horse. I'm Frank Smith, and my wife Karen and I are creators of Music Ranch here at Livingston, Montana. The first name act that we had here about five years ago when we created this larger place was Lacey J. Dalton. She asked me whether she could talk about wild horses and the preservation of them. So during the last year, we came up with the concept of having an event which involved the wild horses. We're calling it Music with a Mission. Our wild horses are in terrible trouble on the public lands today because they compete for the land interests with, with huge and powerful mining, oil, development interests, ranching interests. And these horses need their own places. There are 52,000 of them in long and short term holding. Sadly, all of this expense is on the backs of the taxpayers. And we think that there's a better way to manage these horses. We're happy to tell you that the good news is that the Bureau of Land Management which is the agency that has control of most of our wild horses, is finally open to the ideas of birth control for the horses and what we like to call eco-sanctuaries, where you and your family can come and see the wild horses in the real West, the way they really are. We've built this beautiful country and settled this beautiful country from the backs of these animals. They've earned their place in America. Like that, and in addition to that, because uh, we have a foundation for wild horses, we oftentimes do uh, concerts to, to raise money for our advocates who are boots on the ground with these animals who need a lot of money to keep that kind of stuff going. We a lot of the horses that come in are uh, disabled, they're orphaned babies, uh, sick babies, um, and we have a lot of vet care and colostrum that they need because if a baby horse doesn't get colostrum it dies. And so this is, a lot of times when we're doing these uh, concerts, we have to promote them ourselves. And one of the ways that we promote them is by doing what we call a PSA, or a public service announcement. I'd like to show you how that's done. So come with me. We're going to go down to Carson City and see my really good friend, Dan the Man, at one of my favorite radio stations, KCMY, Cowboy Country. And uh, we're going to show you how it's done. So come <laughs> 
Hey gang, well, here we are at my favorite radio station in Carson City, Nevada, KCMY, and this is my dear friend, Dan the Man. He's a fabulous broadcaster, and he always helps me make PSAs, which are public service announcements for our benefits that we do for the veterans or for the wild horses or whatever we're doing. So it's a great station. Uh, they play really great traditional country music and talk radio, and so uh, follow us in here. We're in the studio now. I'm going to show you how it's done. This is a time thing. Most good PSAs, Dan, tell her why we make it, why it's timed. Well, most radio stations nowadays are, most radio stations nowadays are automated, so you have to either make a commercial 60 seconds or 30 seconds to fit into your format. Watch. Are we go? Hi everybody, Lacey J. Dalton here inviting you to join me, the Dalton Gang, Ricochet, and Max Volume for a Bang Up Wild Horse Benefit concert Friday, September 29th at Bella Fiore, 224 South Carson Street. There'll be great wine, baby horses, fabulous merch. Mur <laughs> now with the magic of modern technology, I don't have to do the whole thing over. I can actually start in the middle. So uh, there'll be great wine. Uh, let's start again. There'll be great wine, baby horses, and fabulous merchandise. And the fun starts at 6.30. Tickets are $39.50, $35 for seniors. Uh, one more time from the same place. You know what? I'm used to doing this standing up. Can I stand up? Yes. All right, good. I forgot that's right. You like to stand. Well, I'm used to standing. So well, when I'm, when I'm sitting... You see these? I know you guys stand in the... Well, look at this. This is this is. Well, that's deluxe. what it's there for. This is deluxe. Okay. Hi, everybody. Lacey J. Dalton here, inviting you to join me. There'll be great wine, baby horses, and fabulous. <laughs> oh, for tickets or pick them up at the door. Oh yeah. Can you get that <clears throat> out of there? Which one? Well, I was going to take them all out. Uh, please do. <laughs> <laughs> I only heard the uh, right here. Dance really quick. You're a very fast engineer, and we appreciate that. Wow, I know what to do. It sounds like you got a jackpot. <laughs> so let them run. Four, six, three, or pick them up at the door. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody. We just finished the PSA, and I'm really happy with it. It Leslie. turned out really good. I thought it turned yeah, out really good. good. It's always fun to work with Dan. It doesn't usually take us that long, but we were picky today. We were filming. So. He was fun. It was good. However, it is now time for us to move along. In we the, do and have to move. What does your day look like now, Leslie? I have to go back and uh, actually work for a couple hours at my real job, uh, and then uh, probably go see my father. What are you at? The, what now, are you your doing? real job is? My real job is tell, a real, I'm a real estate folks. agent. I'm a real estate agent, and so I have a two-hour shift of on-call where I make calls to new uh, potential clients and try to help them either buy or sell real estate so it's kind of fun it's fun to talk to people that you don't know I'm, I'm glad that you do it I'm glad you have that skill and also Leslie's uh, dad who's a two-star general um, has been uh, in and out of uh, the hospital lately and yes. so she's uh, looking for a really good place for him to be so she'll be doing that this afternoon yes, I me I gotta run to the bank I gotta run to the vitamin store because I gotta you prop, did do that yesterday I gotta prop this up <laughs> actually I went and they're having a sale a two-for-one on Monday Holy so God. I'm holding back but I gotta go today because I just found out that if you mix collagen powder in with your protein drink that it kills hunger. Now, I'm a foodie, oh, as you all know and can see, I like food. So it's good for me to dissuade myself from that. And that's, uh, so I'm going to go get this collagen powder and I'm not doing any milk products. And we'll see if we can you know, slim the, get the look. Get the look. <laughs> well, you, you know, I've always wanted to have that uh, heroin chic but I'm not into drugs. So, uh, yeah, how do you get that way if you're a foodie? I don't know. You just, it's deprivation. Not good at that. Oh, well. Never been good at that. All right. Anyway, you guys were great today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.